Right, I want to explain something to you. I get asked this a lot of times. There's a few things I'm going to address anyway. Right, the nut needs to be lower than the timber so the floor can go straight over the top of it and it doesn't impede on it. Right, you need that hole there so you can get that spanner in there to wind that nut down so it's lower than that. Now, somebody says, why don't you use um, a force and a bit or an, uh, a spade bit or something like that and pre-drill a bigger hole? So I've got to pre-drill my bigger hole, then I've got to get my 25 mil out and drill my second hole. Right, so that's two drill bits I've swapped over then, yeah? If I've got a bigger hole there, I can't get that down sufficiently enough to turn that. So that's that as well. Now, I could use a socket, but then I'm going to have to cut my rod so my socket goes on. When I wind down my nut, I'm going to have to cut my rod for a second time. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Right. That's why we chainsaw these out, and that's why we drop them like that so we can get that spanner in. This is the quickest way that we have found to do this. Um, a lot of you say different. John is going to talk about this battery in a minute as well. It's a 12 amp battery. It's on the Milwaukee drill. Now, a lot of you said it makes no difference to the actual speed it drives in the, the screw, but it does, and John will explain that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you how quickly we can get these on um, just by using chainsaw on the drill rather than swapping two drill bits around, using a socket set, a socket set cutting the thing twice as well. Send it right, so if you're going to use this system, that in our opinion, it's the fastest possible way you're going to cut them successfully and get it to drop down. I'm not messing around. I've used two tools. I've used a chainsaw and I've used the drill with one drill bit. All that remains to do now is John will go around. He'll tighten down these nuts. We'll send two screws in there and then we'll angle grind the top of them rods off. But before he does that, John, John would like to explain to you um, about the 12 amp battery versus the 5 amp battery and everything else that goes with that. Go on, John. Right, we've had a few people put comments on that the difference between a 5 amp battery and a 12 amp battery is nothing, apart from the amps. That using it on the drill won't make a difference to the power of the drill. Wrong! That's not true. This drill is an high output drill made by Milwaukee and it's designed to work with high output batteries, which this battery is an high output. But even on a normal battery as well, what happens is when you're just spinning the drill like this, it's under no load. So a 5 amp battery and a 12 amp battery, no difference, you're right. But when you start to drill the hole and the, the drill becomes under load and wants more amps, what happens is the amps on your battery, when it's full, might drop to 3 amps when the drill goes under load. Um, but the drill can take five so that affects the battery so when we use the 12 amp battery the difference is when we're drilling through the timber and the drill goes under load it might drop from 12 amps to nine amps so it's still got loads of other amps spare to use it, it makes the less stress on the motor the motor won't get as warm and 
hang on, I've just lost what I'm going to say now. So I'm just going to jump back to the 5 amp battery again. So what happens when it's not full and it's 50% of its power, where you, when it was full you were getting maybe 3 amps when your drill become under load, you might only be getting half an amp this time. So again, your 12 amp battery drops to 50%. You then put it under load and you might drop to 6 amps instead of 1 amp. So there you go, that's the difference on the high output Milwaukee batteries. They do make a difference. The bigger the battery, the more amps, definitely makes a difference. If, you, if your tool is not under load, intense load, then no it doesn't, not at all. Thank you. Right, there's just one thing more I want to address. Every so often, we get trolled. Jen's got a relatively successful TikTok that's doing really well and no doubt will be really successful true, at yeah. some point. So, what's up with you? Right, her hands are cold. Right, what I want to address is the people that call me a cowboy. Right, we started doing this system first. We, can't, we, we didn't, all right, we, we didn't invent the rod system, right? Other people have done it, but we've adapted it to work for this, yeah? Everybody else now is starting to use this. They're either using ground screws, concrete, concrete bases, or this system, right? I, if, why, why you want to call me a cowboy? I'm not quite sure. Oh, probably something to do with your own inadequacies. If you look around, you watch TikTok, you watch YouTube, and you watch Facebook and Instagram, there's loads of these systems going in. And when I say loads, I'm literally talking thousands. I sell build packs, and I'd say at least 50% of my build packs go to other builders. Okay, so just bear that in mind when you decide to drop your little comments about me being a cowboy. All right. <laughs>